Now what's up guys? Well it's been a few days and I've been working on the wheels here, I've been sanding them. I was honestly waiting for the temperature to get a little bit warmer. Um, let's take a look at these wheels and see where we're at. So I've been sanding with 80 grit to start off trying to get everything knocked down and smooth. Uh, so the inside of them is now a lot better. Uh, it's still kind of bad in between here, but most of it is pretty clean. Let me show you a comparison real quick. Got to get this other wheel out. Yeah, this is what they used to look like. So all the work I've been sanding is to get all of this, well not all, most of this off. Uh, here's what the top side looks like. This one wasn't as bad, but all this corrosion in there. So yeah, the inside is much cleaner than it was. And I'm just going to keep plugging away at it until I can get most of them as smooth as possible. I was working on this one up here. So yeah, just going to keep working. Here on this front side, this was the best wheel. So it still had a lot of the factory finish on it, but I scuffed it up a little bit so that my primer has something to grab to, and then eventually the paint. So that's where we're at on that one. So yeah, I'm gonna probably start the last wheel. I like to start on the hard side, so I always like to do this hard stuff first or it gets easier instead of starting easier and always getting harder. Got some more 80 grit. I like smaller sheets, just easier to handle. All right, I've pretty much sanded it all the way down. I mean, there's definitely still some corrosion, but uh, my main goal for the rear was to kind of just get most of that corrosion off. Um, you don't really see the inside, so I'm not too, too worried. I am gonna still prime it. And um, yes, I'm still gonna prime it and get some paint in there just to help clean it up even more but I'm not too too worried about the looks of it per se it's more just kind of a protectant thing at this point so I just got to do the front and then uh, but they're pretty much almost ready to get painted um, I'm gonna smooth them out a little bit more with some of this uh, 320 grit just so that uh, my primer doesn't have to work so hard to fill in some imperfections, but pretty happy with it so far. So here we have the wheels. I'm gonna hit them one more time with this uh, 320 grit. 
just so that the uh, primer doesn't have so much to fill in. Smooth that out just a little bit more. And uh, we'll get painting. So hopefully, uh, hopefully I can get at least the primer on all the wheels today. And maybe uh, paint tomorrow. Let's keep working. It's a new day today after going to the store to pick up some of the paint. Got a little too cold, so I didn't want to spray it and, you know, mess with the integrity or anything. But, uh, yeah, so we're here today. Got the wheels. I forgot about these center caps that I had, too, so I think I'm going to leave them in and then paint the whole thing. I really wanted to take just this Lexus emblem out, but... They're staked in pretty good, so don't want to mess with that. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and try and give these things a good, good wipe down. Uh, I got some acetone just to clean up any less grease or anything that's on there, oils, anything like that. So, and then we're gonna start. We're gonna hit it up with this. I'm hoping that this filler primer will help fill any of the imperfections that were still left over from me sanding. So we're gonna give that a shot. And then we're gonna go, this is what I decided to go with. Heard some good reviews, just a gloss black. And hopefully one can's enough to do the face, the backside, but we'll see. I mean, the store's not too far away, I can always buy more. All right, so I got it ready for painting almost. Gonna clean it up with just some acetone, microfiber. Gonna wipe the whole thing down, make sure it's clean, then we'll paint. All right, now that we got it cleaned, let's go ahead and hit it with the primer to start. Guess I was shaking a little too vigorously, as it says on the can. Show you this real quick. This first uh, first coat went on. Decided to do the inside first. Got to do this kind of quick, a little quick show here, because it says to do a couple coats within a few minutes of each other. So, got to start spraying the next one. All right, so we got the second coat on. 
Says it dries to the touch in 10 minutes. While I wait for this to dry, I might as well move on to the next wheel. We're gonna just start with the inside on all of them. And then we'll move to the outside. Once all the priming's done, then we'll move to the painting. Should be a fun time. Let's get it. All right, most of you guys know who watch. I'm kind of an idiot sometimes. I totally forgot to prep the inside of this wheel. So I just did a really quick sanding. Probably gonna turn out like shit, but nobody really sees the inside anyway. Whatever, let's just paint. All right, so we got all the inside barrels uh, primed up. Let them dry, it says only about 10 minutes. So it doesn't need anything about handling, it just says two to four hours before sanding. So 10 minutes is good enough for me. Now we're just gonna hit the face. Um, Update, I used about one can to do all four inside, so. But this, uh, I'm gonna make sure I get really good coverage. Obviously, this is what you're gonna be seeing, so. Maybe use more than one can. All right, well, here it is with two coats of primer. Still drying a little bit. I was kind of hoping that high fill primer, let's see if I can get in here enough. You can see that the factory coating was still on there. I tried to sand it as smooth as possible without going all the way to bare metal uh, because I'm kind of lazy. Didn't want to work that much, but I uh, was hoping that high fill primer would fill it up a little bit and not make it so noticeable, but it didn't do as much filling as I was hoping it for. What's up? as I was hoping it would. Um, guess we'll just have to see what the final product looks like. As of right now, I'm a little iffy. Um, should be all right. Looked a lot better than it did at least. And honestly, these are kind of just to hold me over until I can A, decide what wheels I actually want to get and B, save up money for said wheels. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna send it. I'm already this far in, huh? Might as well. All right, guys, well, I got uh, got all the painting done, or the priming, I should say, not painting yet. And uh, I'm indifferent. I mean, it looks <laughs> way better than it did, trust me. Um, but <sighs> I should have been less lazy and sanded everything completely smooth. Uh, that's a lesson learned, unless you don't really care like me. It's not gonna look like a professional did it, which, <laughs> Let's be honest, I'm not. So let's take a look. This is kind of what I'm talking about. So if I would have sanded everything down super smooth, I was I was really hoping that high fill primer was just gonna be my, my savior, but this one's kind of the worst with the leftover factory finish. I really tried hammering on a lot of that primer just to try and fill it in, but you can only do so much. The primer is only going to help you so much. Make sure you sand it. Let's see here. This one's all right. You can maybe see still some of that factory finish. So if you really want it to look really, really, really nice, sand it all the way down as best as you possibly can. Uh, this is the one that had like no corrosion on it. So of course this one's gonna look pretty great. Just finished this one, so it's still drying. Didn't really care about that too much. Here's the other one. Got some factory finish still sitting on it. But you know, overall, even with just the primer, I'm already happy with it. They already look way better than they did. So um, I'm gonna let them dry for about an hour. Uh, before I start uh, putting on the paint. So I just want to make sure it's cured more than the 10 minute drying time that it says it needs. Plus I'm kind of hungry. So I'm gonna get something to eat, let these dry, and then we'll be back to painting. All right, well it's roughly been one hour, so I'm gonna check these wheels out real quick and uh, see how they're looking. Yeah. 
this one's not gonna turn out so great, but that's what happens when you're lazy and you skip step, well not skip, but don't complete steps fully, I should say. But they should look a lot better than what they did. So it's been one hour, roughly. Then we're gonna do the same kind of the same way. I'm gonna start with the inside, then flip it back over and do the top like this. Let's get set up. I'm glad I started with the back because um honestly these cans don't seem like they're spraying very well. They're kind of turning out like shit. Let's take a look. So that's, I mean, you can see it all right there. Look at how uneven that coverage is. I mean, It's like almost like, it's like it's not even spraying out paint. I don't, I don't know. It's, it's terrible though. Maybe the, I don't know, maybe the front side would be better, but as of right now, I'm not very happy with this paint. So I don't know if I, Take the rest of the cans back, return them, and look for something else. Plus, I also don't really like this kind of spray nozzle. Uh, I wish it was more like this. Um, I think this is a better spray pattern than this. I mean, as you can see, it's not a, it's not a very high quality, uh, what, what do I want to say, spread? It's it's pretty shitty and spotty. And I've tried two different cans, so I was thinking maybe, you know, just one can somebody had returned. It was half empty. They messed it up. But now I'm on to a whole new can. And it still looks like that. So I don't know if I continue. I'm really afraid to try the front. Maybe the front will be better. The inside was a lot more rough, but I sanded it, so it shouldn't be really that rough anymore. But... I mean, you saw I was laying it pretty heavy right there. And it, it just, it just doesn't cover. I mean, I know it's the inside and all, but do I risk it? Do I risk? Putting this paint on the outside. Not real happy with this stuff right now. I really don't want to have to strip the paint back off and do this whole thing again, but I also don't want them to look like, I mean, total ass. Maybe I finish the insides just enough and then try the fronts maybe the fronts will will lay better but I'm not I don't really have much high hopes for it well press on I guess well I don't really need the wheels right now I got wheels they're on the car drives so as of right now <laughs> I think I'm just gonna have to send it and see if the front lays down a little bit better. Uh, two wheels have two coats, two light coats, and a heavy coat, since this thing doesn't spray very well. So I think I'm just gonna continue with that, finish the last two tires, tires, to finish the last two wheels with uh, one last heavy coat, 
and then um, <laughs> flip them to the front, even though I kind of messed the front. This hall is turning into a disaster right now. Don't be like me, okay? Um, <laughs> do it right. Find good stuff, but I saw good reviews on this, but all right, let's finish these last two inside barrels as best as I can without wasting too much because only bought four cans thinking four would be enough. I had leftover primer, so I was thinking, you know, oh yeah, I'll have plenty of paint. But as I started, I've already gone through one can. Like I said, it doesn't cover for shit. So I've already done one can on the interior and it still looks ass. So uh, let's get these last two <laughs> going, I guess. We'll see you in a little bit once I finish all that stuff. All right, so I put the first coat of paint on the face of the wheel. It's kind of looking the same as the back, but fingers crossed it holds up a little bit better or covers a little bit better at least. I've actually, uh, left the cans out in the sun maybe just to warm them up a little bit I've seen people put spray paint in warm water just so it sprays a little better I don't know I'm trying everything at this point but let's take a look at the wheels so it did cover a little bit better on the front surprisingly I mean I don't know what it was but we'll see I mean, it does say to do light coats, so, oh man, there's a hair, whatever. Um, <laughs> so, maybe after two more light coats and a wet coat, hopefully it, uh, hopefully it looks all right. Stay tuned, we'll see. All right, I got the painting done on one wheel. Wanted to get it in the sunlight, kind of see how it looked, but. It's looking fairly decent. Good enough. Good enough for a rattle can, and good enough for not actually uh, getting that whole factory finish off. Fairly happy, considering the nightmare it was on the inside of the wheel. So I'm going to continue with uh, painting the other wheels and then eventually we'll have to slap the tires on them and be rolling around with some black wheels. Sweet. Alright, so I just finished painting the last wheel. It's been a long day, a little bit. Sun's going down. But uh... Losing some daylight, so I kind of wanted to just get an update on it. Let's take a look. Let's see if I can even see anything. It's getting kind of dark, so let's see. This one's still wet. I literally just finished spraying it. doesn't stay this glossy, which I'm kind of sad about, but also kind of happy about. I was torn between a matte finish and a gloss finish anyway, so... I hear the other ones. It's like more of a satin finish. It's not really full gloss, not really a matte, but overall, honestly, I mean, they're looking a lot better than they did the first time. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. It actually uh, didn't think it was gonna go any better with the, the back side being as bad as it was. I wasn't expecting it to turn out as nice as it did. Granted, you can still see a lot of the imperfections that I didn't fully sand down to bare metal, but honestly, they do look a lot better than when I started. And these are kind of just holding a place until I can find better wheels and save up money. So, and plus it's a fun project. Give me something to do. So, yeah, I'm going to let those uh, sit and dry for the night, and then I'm going to come out tomorrow and check them. The problem is it says if you need to do any more coats after after an hour of drying, it says that you got to wait seven days for the paint to cure for additional coats after an hour. 
Uh, it's getting to become winter. Nice days like this are getting harder and harder to find. So, honestly, if I need to do any touch-up spots tomorrow, I'm probably just going to send it. I mean, I sent it here. Turned out fine. So we'll just send it again. So, uh, yeah. Be back tomorrow. Alright, guys. Well, it's the next day. Honestly, I can say I'm kind of happy with it. It's good enough for me. They're not perfect, but... Like I said earlier, it's, you know, kind of just a placeholder wheel right now until I find what wheel I actually want to buy and throw on. So they're kind of just there, which is fine. They look a lot better than they did before. It's a fun project, so I'm happy with it. Let's take a look. So yeah, that's what they look like after I've been sanding, primed, painted. Um, the can says seven days if I wanted to add extra coats of paint for it to fully cure. I don't think I'm going to add any extra paint. I think it looks good enough for my purposes. Um, so I was going to mount the wheels as soon as possible because I'm, I'm impatient. I can't wait. But honestly, I think I might just wait the seven days and then uh, mount the tires up then. So uh, if you want to see once the tires are mounted, make sure you follow the Instagram account. And uh, I'll be posting some stuff up there. We've got a lot of behind the scenes. You see stuff before it comes out on video. So give that a follow. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed.